Peter, you think we'll ever know why Malcolm Butler didn't play in the Super Bowl? Um, I think, in my opinion, and this is going to sound almost ridiculously elementary, Bill, Bill Belichick very often went on practice and went on effort. And what I had always heard about that week is that uh, and and that and that period of time is that Malcolm Butler was getting killed in practice. And does it matter? Should it have mattered? I I can't tell you. And I don't know that to be a fact. That's the thing I had always heard. But I don't know. It's hardly it's hardly the uh, you know the biggest mystery now with the with the documentary out about the Patriots. It's it's hardly the biggest mystery of of about 20 mysteries that have been brought to the front of that series. Did you learn anything watching this documentary? It's been phenomenal. Yeah, I haven't watched very much of it, but I the one thing I learned is how much seeming enmity there was between the I knew that there was some uh bad blood between the Kraft family and Bill Belichick, but it seems like there was a lot more than some. And and I think it comes down to this fact, that when Bill Belichick did not want to continue as the HC of the NYJ back in 2000, back at the turn of the century, nobody else wanted him but Robert Kraft. Nobody. Nobody in the league wanted him. I don't know who he, where he was going to coach, if he was even going to coach in the year 2000. But having said that, Bill uh, Bill Belichick was wanted by one man, and that was Robert Kraft. He ignored all of the people in the league who said, man, don't hire this guy. He'd be awful. And he did a very, very intelligent thing. He didn't listen to the noise. He hired him, and the rest is history. And I believe, I've always believed, that Robert and Jonathan Kraft have basically said, Bill Belichick forgot January of 2000. Even though he's done great things for us and we are grateful, he, he's forgotten how he got here in the first place. So do you think that he is the coaching genius that he is um, spoken of? Yes. Or do you do? I think he's a coaching genius. There's no question about it. And, you know, it just goes to show uh, over the years, I do understand Everybody said, well, you know, he didn't win without Brady. Well, you know, you could say that about, about some of the greatest coaches in the history of football. I mean, an awful lot of the really great coaches did not win without a great quarterback or quarterbacks. And so that's why when I look at this, I think it's the dumbest argument, um, you know, since I've been covering the NFL. Well, how great is Belichick? He's never won without Tom Brady. Well, so what? Did Paul Brown win very much without Otto Graham? No. And so I I mean, and we could go through a lot of this, a lot of these. I absolutely think he's brilliant. And I've talked to enough offensive coaches over the years, the latest in December, when I sat in Andy Reid's office after they beat New England in Foxborough when the Patriots were a mess. And Andy Reid is just shaking his head. And he said, oh, my God, how frustrating it was to coach today against that defense. So, yeah, I do think he's he's a genius as a coach. He's not he's not without flaw, but I do think he was a genius. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.